Hello everybody, this is Stringer back to kick off round 5 for Group C. Group C, one of the tightest groups in the tournament. And let's have a look at our fight card for this session. For our main event, we have got a big game between two guys in the bottom half between Mr. Ferry and Aravgra. Defeat for either of these two could see them cut right the drift of the top four. But before that, we have got Navarn, still winless in this tournament, going up against Kaz. Then we will see Dino Smash taking on Team Argentina. But up first, we have got Silver Knights going up against Cayman Rider Chimera. Ooh, the Colosseum. Right, in the red corner for Silver Knights, we got Uteraptor. A bonus point win for Silver Knights will put them joint top with Dino Smash. And it will put pressure on Dino Smash going into their matchup. However, in the blue corner for Cayman Rider Chimera, we've got Paki Rhinosaurus. Victory for Cayman Rider, and they'll go three points clear of the top. And a bonus point win, and I'd probably say they'll have all but secured their spot in the last 32. Um, there's no secret dinosaurs, I don't think, so... No terrain advantages to worry about, no blitz types, let's get some moves generated. And it's Uteraptor they're getting the first hit of the match. Elemental power coming in handy there. Ooh, that's a crit from the Ute. That's gonna be a Mayfly. Massive hit from Silver Knights. This is a good start. Oh, look at that. You almost freaking killed it. Buffed up the elemental power as well. This is a brilliant start from Silver Knights. Coming out the blocks, swinging. And quick of the wink, Patty Rhinosaurus gets blown away. But coming in next for Cayman Rider. We have got what I like to call their ace in the hole. It is Omega Eocarcaria. And well, this thing can sweep. Literally. So Silver Knight has got to watch out. And he's got type advantage as well. But, saving grace for the Eucharactor. The elemental power buff has maxed it up. So, I think that will even out the type disadvantage that the Eucharactor would normally have. But it's been all Silver Knight so far. Cayman Rider just can't get a hit. And that is another hit from Silver Knight. What a start. Can Eocarcaria get the going? It, it just can't get going. It's another hit. Oh, for <laughs> Oh, no. Flash. Oh, jeez, he killed that. Um, okay. Coming in third for Kamen Rider, we got Spinosaurus. Well, I say if any dinosaur can pull him out of a hole, it's this one. But, uh, you can't get out of the hole if you don't get hits. And so far, all the hits have belonged to Silver Knights. Come on, Kamen Rider, get some hits. Come on. <laughs> okay, it is heroic type actually, so if it gets a crit, it's going to do a lot of damage. Oh well. Well, there's the losing bonus point secured, but let's be honest, he's not going to lose from this position. Oh, finally you get him a hit. Softening beam coming in. Now, if you're kind, random them generator, you should give Cayman Rider about 10 hits in a row, like you did with Silver Knights. Then we'll be even Stevens. I know you won't do it, because you're a cunning little mistress. Okay, there's another hit. The Venom Fang. Nice to see Cayman actually get some hits in this match. Oh no! <laughs> Super high, low gravity jump. Oh my, of course the Dino Illusion gets triggered. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, there goes the Dino Illusion. He couldn't, could he? Okay, that's you to wrap the down. That's a water sword. At least, at least Cayman Rider's not gonna get free nailed. Oh my god, I forgot. Freaking Silver Knight's got Pentaceratops in next, haven't he? He's got Type Advantage. Okay, the Spinosaurus can still hit really hard because it's heroic type and Pentaceratops has a paper crack. So Silver Knight is still in a really, really commanding position, but at least Cayman Rider's getting some hits back. Can they... Can they keep this momentum going, though? I'm not so sure. Go on, let it be rock. Oh, it's rock! Okay, well, I said the random number generator should give Cayman Rider 10 hits in a row. I didn't actually mean it. And look at that, even with a type of disadvantage, loads of damage, heroic type, so, so good. Another hit! And all of a sudden... Softening being there, a tie will finish off Pentaceratops. Okay, there's a hit from Silver Knights. We haven't seen one of them for a while. Badoosh. And with a type advantage, that's going to leave the Spino on the brink. But you've got to give it to Cayman, at least they put up the fight. And yeah, there it is. The Spino it just had too much to do. The Uteraptor basically won it for Silver Knights. Crazy, man. But it is Silver Knight's victory and is a bonus point victory that puts them joint top. Right, on to our next match. Righty ho then, in the red corner for Dino Smash, we have got Taurosaurus. Dino Smash enjoying a strong tournament so far. Victory here will put them clear at the top. <laughs> um, we don't have any grass types in this matchup, so no terrain advantage is here. Right, in the blue corner for Team Argentina, we've got Mabusaurus. Team Argentina enjoying a mixed tournament so far, but a win here would get them up the table. Sigoi! So it's a lot to play for you for these two. Ooh, Dino Smash landing the first shot there. Not much of a shot, but the electric charge is going to get triggered. Oh, but Mapusaurus gets the hit and gets the reform buff as well. Good shot there from Team Argentina. And, oh, uh, this is more like it. Back and forth, man. Not like the freaking last match we had. <laughs> Attack burst activating. Electric charge is going to activate as well. That's going to be maxed up electric charge now for the Taurosaurus. Stacked in attack power now. But it is Mapusaurus getting that next hit. The reform effect activating again. And a volcano burst as well. Voice went high then. <laughs> Hope that didn't peak. So it's two hits apiece, but Mapusaurus has been getting the bigger hits. Oh, and that's going to be Taurosaurus going down. Team Argentina going into the lead. Oh, you know, coming in next for Dino Smash, we've got Omega Eocarcaria. With the lamest move set in the entire tournament. <laughs> A Dino Smash specialty, this is. Well, it's worked for them, so, you know, kudos. Will we see Omega Armor in this match? Ooh, the Mapusaur is getting another hit on the board. This has been a good showing from Team Argentina so far. And that's a crit. That's going to be a massive hit. A Magma Blaster coming in. Dealing as much damage to this Eel Carrier as possible before it starts getting those buffs going. There's a Volk Burst. Oh no, it's a Flare Sword! 
That's disaster for Dino Smash. That's going to be lethal for the Eel Carcaria. And Team Argentina are all of a sudden 2-0 up. Right, coming in third for Dino Smash. We got you up the Cephalus. Well, that came, kind of came out of nowhere, didn't it? <laughs> well, it came from the Macrosaurus. That's where it came from. But yeah, this is... Really, the wheels have really come off Dino Smash in this match. Can they can they wrestle back some momentum? Oh, it's another hit! The reform effect activating again. This Mapusaurus is absolutely mopping the floor with Dino Smash. Okay, there's a hit from Dino Smash. Finally. Oh, this still didn't kill it. <laughs> Elemental power activated in, no earth barrier, but can it at least finish Mapusaurus off? And it does, but Iwoplocephalus has taken an absolute beat in. Right, coming in next for Team Argentina, we got Carnotaurus. Can this Carnotaurus get the bonus point win for Argent Team Argentina? Or will Iwoplocephalus rally back for Dino Smash? Well, if the Hurricane Beat activates, it is game over. I think a regular crit and it's game over. Okay, that's not too bad. The Elemental Power will limit the damage here. Tide Bomb is going to be a problem though. Oh, that's a tie. That's going to trigger the bomb. That's going to leave Team Argentina on the brink of the win. And there's the victory. It's Team Argentina's bonus point win. And what a win. A crucial win and a crucial stage in this group. Massive result. And well, that's uh, Cayman and Dino Smash failing to capitalise. Right, on to our third match. Rightly ho, in the red corner for Navan, we have got Allosaurus Atrox Navan. In a really unexpected situation here where a defeat will end any hopes of them getting out the group stage. This has been one of the big shocks. Last year's runner up just hasn't yet to win. In the blue corner for Kaz, we have got Joe Boria. Kaz enjoying a really strong tournament so far, and with Dino Smash and Cayman Rider losing. The door has been opened for Kaz to go top. So yeah, plenty to play for for these two. Yeah, that previous result with Team Argentina losing, that was a bad result for Navarre. Because their best hope now is to ca actually catch Kaz. That would be their best chance of getting out of the group. And oh, there's an ocean panic. That's not the start you want. Right, Dino Smash and Cayman Rider have the head-to-head -head advantage. And Team Argentina have the 14 points. So they'll pretty much be hot, nigh uncatchable. Right, that Ocean Panic means that Joe Boria would be going for scissors. Okay, there's a tie. Oh, come on, another Ocean Panic? Okay, if the shock, if the uh, move removal effect activates here, we will we will generate moves like normal since it's consecutive. Badoosh, badoosh, badoosh. But is Navan panicking already? Okay, no move removal there, and that will max. That will be the max number of times you can get ocean panic. Tight. Okay, there's a hit. This really needs to be a sex. And it is. Well, we saw it with Crown over in uh, Group A. Oh, he freaking killed it! Well, from nowhere, Navan is in the lead. Is it not going to turn in this tournament? And like, like I just said, you, you saw it with Crown over with the Alpha Dice. Maybe it's a sign, a good omen. <laughs> Anyway, coming in next for Chaos, we've got Ferrazinosaurus. The Ferrazinosaurus definitely hits hard, especially after getting hit in his counter type. Can Navan take, take advantage of this and extend their lead? 
Nope. <laughs> Ferrazinos always gets the hit, and down goes the Atrox. Now, as it stands, Kaz is 10 clear of Navan with free to play, but if Navan wins, he'll cut that gap down to 9. No, he'll cut that gap down to 7. He'll need a bonus point win from somewhere and hope that Kaz doesn't get any more points. But it is possible. Right, coming in next for Navar, we've got Super T-Rex, Awaken Mode on 2. An awakened hit from the T-Rex will really help. Oh, that's a hit from the fairy though. Boosh! Elemental power activating, that's not going to help Navan there. Oh, that's another hit. Okay, it is awakening time. Can Navan get this big hit here? Oh, he can't! Is that going to be it? Navan in big trouble now. Okay, that's a tie. Kaz has really turned the screw in this match. Is this the end? Right, coming in third for Navan, we got Alpha Sukumimus. Is this is starting to feel like the end? Like the Sukumimus could pull it back, but it is, you just sense that this is going to be the end for Navan. It has been a really, really, really rotten tournament. Like, compared to last year, where they got all the way to the final. This has been really, really difficult. Like, there's a hit, but he it need, it needs a crit, really, because that's going to do nothing to the fairy. Oh, and there's a counter hit, so it's going to do more damage. The tie... Is it going to be a bonus point win for Kaz? Yeah, I, I think the van is done. The hit, they're getting hits at least, but they just need that. They need a crit and need it quick. And yeah, there it is. That is going to do it. That is going to do it. And our last year's runner-up, Navan, is going to be knocked out at the group stage. And it is Kaz's victory, and they go top. And it's a bonus point victory to boot. And there we have it. Offic it's official. Our first casualty of the tournament. And shockingly, it is last year's runner-up. Right, let's get on with our main event of this session, shall we? Well, if this main event didn't have any bearings before, it does now after those first three results. In the red corner, for Mr. Ferry, we've got T-Rex. Well, this is this is a knockout match. It's as simple as that. Mr. Ferry currently 8 points adrift of, well, 5th place. Currently sitting, we're currently sitting on 12 points. Right, in the blue corner for a Ralph Grum, we got the Blitz type Acrocanthosaurus, so it will go for those two Blitz hits. Will it get them? We'll have to see. But yeah, the lo whoever loses this match will be all but eliminated from the group stage. The winner will give themselves a slim chance, but Group C is really looking like it's going to wrap up after round six. Oh, that's a hit. No blitz hit that time. Okay, gets a crit there though. So we are pretty much even Stevens. Ooh, don't want to get hit by that crit. <laughs> Definitely don't want to get hit by a T-Rex's crit. The move breaker there, nullifying that scissors move. Ooh, an Acro getting a crit, and that will be all she wrote for T-Rex. Good start from a Wrath Grab. A bonus point win for either of these guys will really help. Right, coming in next for Mr. Fairy, we've got Alpha Iguanodon. Da -da -da. Ding, 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 ding. Can Mr. Fairy get back in this match and get some hits on the board? Let's 
6. Ooh, that's a crit. It's Alpha Dart. One of my favourite moves. Now, he needs it to land on the freaking exclamation mark guy. And it does. That's going to do massive damage to the Acro. And almost killing it. And that hit will seal the deal. Acro goes down and we are level pecking. Right, coming in next for a Ravgrim, we got Super Kamarasaurus, Awaken Mode on 3. And if he wants a bonus point win out of this match, he's going to need to get that Awakened hit. Maybe non-negotiable. Non <laughs> uh, we don't have Earth types in this matchup, so there's no terrain advantages for either of our guys. Kamar, Kamar getting the first hit. Now, it doesn't have the strongest move, so won't do too much damage. That's a tie. That's exactly what you want, though, if you're, not, if you're a Ravgrim. The Ocean Panic is going to come in. Now, it could remove one of Iguanodon's moves here. Swoosh. Let's see if it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's twice. Could that have been a missed opportunity there for a Ravgrub? It is, because Aguanodon gets the next hit on the board. But it is awakening time. The Mentor, Fusion! Oh, he doesn't get the hit! Instead, it is going to be a super impact coming from Aguanodon. And that could be a super moment in this match. A big moment for Mr. Fairy here. That could be massive, and a nature's blessing as well to add insult to injury. Could that be the turning point in this match? Oh, it could be. The camera's going down. And big opportunity missed there from the Ravgrim. Right, coming in third for a Ravgrim, we've got Alpha Aranosaurus. Now, there is a chance here for for uh, Mr. Ferry to get the bonus point with you if they can get some more hits. Okay, that's a tie. That's going to trigger the two platoon crush. Another tie. That's a third tie. Oh, that's another hit from the Iguanodon. Can Mr. Ferry do this? One hit. Well, I don't know because it's Alpha Dark, but one good Alpha Dark could win it for them. Okay, now they're one hit away from the bonus point. And a Ravgrim, one hit away from elimination. Oh, that's going to do it. The tie will do it. It's a bonus point win for Mr. Fairy. And that could be a massive result for them. And a damaging one for a Ravgrim, as that will all but eliminate them from the tournament. Right. Well, that was a big round in this group. So let's have a look at the table and we can end the session. Well, that is how Group C looks, ladies and gentlemen. We have Kaz on 16 points. And pretty much all but through to the knockout rounds. But look how tight it is between these guys. We have Team Argentina on 14 points in second place. Then we have Dino Smash, Cayman Ride and Silver Knights. All level on points. I actually can't separate them because Dino Smash has yet to play Silver Knights. And I believe that is in round 6. So that will be settled. But yeah, all level, 12 points, nothing to separate them. And then we have Mr. Ferry giving themselves at least a shot, a glimmer of hope in getting out of this group with a big, big win. And then a Ravgrim who, well, it's not official, official, but is pretty much 98%, pretty much 98 out. And then Navar, our first official casualty of the tournament, bowing out at the group stage. Last year's runner-up. It's been a really tough tournament for them. I mean, their only their only bet now is to see if they can at least get a win in this tournament. Just, you know, finish on a high. 
but yeah it is going to be group stage elimination for them sadly but yeah it's going to end this session here so i hope you enjoyed and until next time ta-ta mm -hmm.